Hello students. Today we are going to go through a way to multiply fractions and uh, it might help to clear up some of the confusion that we may have had when we viewed the lesson online. Uh, so the first sentence says multiplying fractions is very easy um, and I honestly mean that if you follow the plan that I'm going to show you now um, you will see that multiplying fractions is very easy. So multiplying fractions is very easy. All you do is multiply across the top, call that the numerator, multiply across the bottom, as we call the denominator. So when we say multiply across the top, what, is, what do I mean by that? So very simply, multiplying across the top, we simply multiply four times six. If we know our multiplication tables, four times six, that's 24. And then it says multiply across the bottom, nine times eight, nine times eight, that's 72. Okay, pretty easy, right? Uh, we could reduce these to lowest terms, although we're not going to worry about that right now, but I do wanna mention that there's a way to reduce that fraction to lowest terms. So for right now though, we're just gonna leave it as 24 over 72. And just reminding ourselves how we got there, we multiplied four times six is 24, nine times eight is 72. So in other words, four ninths times six eighths equals 24 over 72. Okay, pretty easy, right? It says on the bottom, we're gonna move on to the next screen. All right, so here we go. So let's, pra let's practice a few. I'm gonna practice two on this page. We're gonna practice three sevenths times four fifths. So again, very simply, three times four, multiply across the top, three times four, what's that? Correct, that's 12. And then multiply across the bottom, the denominator, seven times five, that's 35. Okay, so in other words, three sevenths times four fifths equals 12 35ths. How do we get there again? We got that 12 by multiplying 3 times 4 across the top in our numerator. We got that 35 by multiplying 7 times 5 across our denominator on the bottom. Okay, we're going to move on now to 8 tenths times 3 fourths. And hopefully by now you're seeing the plan you have to follow. Again, it's very simple. Multiply across the top our two numerators. Multiply across the bottom are two denominators. So multiplying across the top, eight times three. What's that? That's 24. Multiply across the bottom, 10 times four, that's 40. Okay, so how did we get there? How did we get 24 over 40? Simple, we multiplied across the top, eight times three, that's 24. How do we get that 40? Simple, multiply it across the bottom, 10 times four equals 40. And again, we could reduce this to lowest terms, but again, we're not gonna worry about that right now. Come back to that at a later time. All right, moving on to more examples. Three to go over here, all right? We have five sixth times 11 twelfths, all right? So again, multiplying across, multiplying across the bottom. Five times 11. What's that? 55. Okay, multiplying across the bottom. Six times 12. Six times 12, that's 72. So five sixth times 11 twelfths gives us an answer of 55 over 72. How did we get there? Simple, multiplied across the top. Five times 11, that was 55. Multiply across the bottom, 6 times 12, that's our 72. All right, moving on. I like to circle the answers because I think that looks nice. All right, moving on to problem 4. <laughs> 9 fifteenths times 5 ninths. All right, so again, we're going to start out by multiplying across the top. 9 times 5, 9 times 5, that's 45. And then multiply across the bottom, 
15 times 9. What's that? That's 135. So again, how did we get there? Simple. Multiply it across the top. 9 times 5. 9 times 5 is 45. 15 times 9. That's 135. All right, moving on to question 5. We have 12 fourteenths times 3 sixths. All right. So first, multiply across the top. 12 times 3. 12 times 3. That's 36. Then multiply across the bottom. 14 times 6. 14 times 6. That's 84. Okay. So 12 14 times 3 sixths. That equals 36 over 84. Again, how do we get there? Simple. Multiply it across the top. 12 times 3 is 36. 14 times 6 is 84. Circle the answer. Circle the answer. Okay. Just a couple more to look at. I go back to blue here. 8 twelfths times 7 tenths. 8 twelfths times 7 tenths. So how do we get our final answer? What do we do? But I hope that you said multiply across the top first, which would be 8 times 7. That's 56. Multiply across the bottom next. That's 12 times 10. What's 12 times 10? 120. Okay. So in other words, 8 twelfths times 7 tenths gives us an answer of 56 over 120. How did we get there? 8 times 7 across the top gives us 56. Across the bottom, 12 times 10, that gives us 120. Okay, two more to go through. Problem 7, 5 tenths times 1 half. Switch up our colors here. So what do we do first? I hope by now you're saying multiply across the top first. Good. Multiply across the top is 5 times 1. That's a 5. And multiply across the bottom, 10 times 2, 10 times 2, that is 20. So in other words, 5 tenths times 1 half gives us the answer of 5 twentieths. How did we get there? Okay, simple. We multiplied across the top, 5 times 1 is 1. Multiply across the bottom, 10 times 2 is 20 for an answer of 5 twentieths. All right, last one. And these, for these examples, 9 nineteenths times 4 fifteenths. Okay, so we ask ourselves, how are we going to get there? Okay, hopefully by now you have said that you're going to multiply across the top and multiply then next across the bottom. Okay, so multiplying across the top, what numbers are across the top? 9 times 4. And what's 9 times 4? That is 36. All right, and then you probably said, all right, now we're going to multiply across the bottom. Got some big numbers there. 19 times 15. 19 times 15, what's that? That's 285. So our final answer, 9 19 times 4 15 is 36 over 285. 285. Again, how do we get there? Multiply across the top first. 9 times 4 is 36. Multiply across the bottom next. 19 times 15 is 285 for our final answer. All right. So hopefully that was helpful for you. Um, this lesson, I hope, was helpful. Again, you can go back and review this uh, video as many times as you need. And then you can always ask me questions on our Zooms or in Google Classroom. So hopefully this was helpful.